<laughs> what did we say we were going to around the teapot? The talks around, around the, te- the teapot. Talks around the teapot. Talks okay. around the teapot. Name in progress. Yeah, that's a credits to thing. Rio. Okay, Rio I guess the we should. I don't know where do you want to start. We should start with the fact that I f***ed with you all, I suppose, I, and yeah. told you it was going to be one thing and didn't make it that thing. That, <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Um, oh, you know what? We didn't have a thing. We didn't have a trigger warning at the beginning. But I guess it doesn't matter because we haven't. We, I don't think there was any there triggering content. No, there isn't, no, but for the ongoing show. Yeah. Because yeah. um, obviously it's a horror show, it's set in 1820, there's going to be misogyny, blah, blah, People blah. People who have just watched that first episode are like, this is a horror show. Oh, I'll get that. <laughs> it's a slow burn. The horror mm. is that Susan Green doesn't actually like me. The <laughs> 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 so, Rosalind is crushed. I guess we start at the beginning when yeah. I talked you guys into wanting to mm. do a and d Game yeah, we should talk about that. Says the voice from off camera. Hmm. I'm really voice. sad you're not on camera. <laughs> There's no room because the boy's here. The boy. Oh, I'm sorry. The mm-hmm. boy shall leave if needed. You can lie on the table. Mm. <laughs> I'm good. I'm mm. good. Um, yeah, so when did we come up with this idea? I think it was like a year ago. Because mm-hmm. I remember being on a long drive. I don't know if we were driving to Little Women or something. And we started talking about a Regency D&D and generating ideas about stuff that mm-hmm. I actually can't say at this point <laughs> in things being released online. But I, yeah, I remember the whole way through that drive. It was like a few hours and we just couldn't stop talking and coming up with material. And then I don't know what you did next. <laughs> I guess we just like, we knew, Major, you were going to Yeah, do I don't it remember. I rem- vaguely remember you telling me. But like, I don't remember when that was set. It just sort of happened. Yeah. Just a and, slow burn. And I feel like it was sort of one of those things that we just, because of the way that we all work, we were just like, we just assumed, like, obviously, Major will be yeah. part of this. And then we had to find our others. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I did, like, I didn't know anything. I knew, like, you guys spoke about it briefly around me. You joined me. a week ago. <laughs> I joined a week ago. I'm very new to this. Um, but you have known things. You you I, know stuff. Oh, you? I, yeah, I do, know, I do stuff know stuff that, that you guys don't know. know. Yeah, that's quite funny. Um, but, like, it was just kind of, like, there was the whole thing of, like, talking about it. And it was like, oh, there's not really, like, originally any, like, space or anything for me to be. Maybe, like, a guest, something. Because we were so, like, we just want the main players to be women or women yeah. adjacent. Women yeah. adjacent, yeah, yeah. Which is um, <laughs> people who menstruate. I nailed it. But they actually <laughs> don't. But I don't know. But only the cis woman actually does. Which I is like I do. Well, yeah, but yours is wrong. <laughs> I've got so all of This is you, so yeah. true. Like, you got all of mine. And yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> people who don't menstruate. Blood, we're off to a good start. Yeah. Um, I joined the group because I got a a, a message from Lyndon being like. Hey, want to do D&D? I was like, you know what? Yeah, go on then. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I joined and I've been here since. Because you, Lizzie recommended you. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. she Lizzie told me Lizzie was that, like, yeah. that sounds like something you'd yeah. be really up for. Yeah. So we were like, yes. Lizzie was like, oh, that sounds really cool. I've got no interest in it. Mm. <laughs> cool. So I thought it was quite yeah, funny. that is funny. But was then, this before or after you made me message Lizzie asking if she liked D&D? It was after, because she never replied to you. So I she did that. never reply to me. <laughs> oh. But then what I remember really clearly, like, the first time we met, you, you immediately being like, oh, I've got this old Bible. Oh, I've got this. And I was like, oh, we've we've picked, we've found a good person because you like just Absolutely. yeah. Because I remember you guys because like you were telling me about it and I was like, oh, that's always cool. I'd love to go on like a guest at some point in the future. And you guys, that'd be great. And then I went back like up, back up to where I'm. Yeah, like, for I don't context, live anywhere near here. I don't live anywhere near here. Um, <laughs> I travelled th- uh, like three hours to get here, so you know. Um, but like, I was out, I was drinking with some of my friends. We were watching like movies and having some drinks. We're having a good time, and my phone starts ringing, and it's like. It's a number that I don't have saved. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, so yeah. I have you on like uh, pretty much. Yeah, because I always would contact you on like yeah, yeah, social media. Yeah. But like yeah. I didn't have your number, so I was like, oh, no number. And I get a message from AJ saying, "Pick up, bitch." And I'm like, oh, okay. So I pick up, and he's like, "That's so scary." Yeah, yeah. I'm like, like, what's going on? So I go outside, and I'm kind of drunk, and I'm like playing with like a stick on the ground. I'm like, hey guys, what's up? And he's like, "Do you want to do this thing?" So I'm like, 
yeah, yeah, I think I do. And then you're telling me all these ideas, and I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely down for that. I'm sorry I'm not really paying attention. I've got a stick in the mouth. <laughs> and then the next day, I fully clocked what you were asking me to do, and I was like, oh, yeah, that sounds great. And then I immediately, the next day when I was at work, I started writing down possible character names. Yeah, I got a Snapchat from you. So I got all of these names and all of the meanings, and I'm possibly going with Seth Man because it means appointed man, but I'm also <laughs> possibly going to go with this because it means this. Yeah, long list of names. Which, again, is like just immediate sign, like, yeah, we need you immediately here. Immediately down yeah. to the... Yeah. It's cute you guys care about names. Yeah. Okay, okay names, you and your big my, John of the day. Down, <laughs> what, a lot of people were named they John were. those days. They I'm being historically like John, accurate. Elizabeth and Jane. Jane. Yeah. I got plenty of names. Okay, Everyone, I don't know why you guys think I'm making up names. Every single person has a proper name. Yeah. That just happens all to be John. John. Yeah. <laughs> or Jonathan. Mm. John Steena. Jonathan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, now we're um, here. yeah, why Regency? Because it's cool. <laughs> but I don't know, you tell me, because we, I think, I don't know if it start. I think you started the idea and I just immediately was like, that's amazing. Because it was definitely on this car journey. I think when we were doing Little mm. Women and we drove from where we were performing, I think it was driving back. I just have this really clear memory. And I think it was just something that you brought up, maybe because, you know, we'd been doing Little Women, period piece, obviously, like, wrong mm. period. I was probably, because I'm me, talking about period dramas. You, at this point, already had wanted to start a and d thing, like an actual play thing. So I think maybe it just sort of, like... Melded. Melded. And yeah. then the minute... But I do know that... I don't know where it came from, but the minute you said that, I was like, yes, that's what we're doing. Mm. And then we didn't, I, we literally didn't stop talking for like the three hour drive or whatever it was. Cause like everyone does Victorian, everyone does medieval, everyone does fantasy. Mm. Like it's not generally a thing that really gets done. Although saying that, like I think immediately after us coming up with this idea, I know that- Bridgerton. <laughs> no, Bridgerton had been out already. No, I'm just talking about for D&D. &D. Mm. I think there was a Court of Fame Flowers was released like within weeks of yeah. me being like, oh, we should do a Regency one, or whatever. Mm. but it's wildly different to this. Yeah. Mm. Ours is, air quotes, historically accurate. <laughs> it's just so <laughs> not. <laughs> How many shillings is this? <laughs> In the beginning it was. I was like, oh yeah, we can just do all those yeah. places, but like I prefer the freedom of just mm. like, it's Regency adjacent. Yeah. We I really think we need to know Money. How much money is? That's just, our homework. Like Fifteen it. cakes. I like you not knowing how much money is. I, the thing is, you pay two I, shillings for a friend. But, but if you hear me out, Rosalind doesn't understand how money works. So it's okay if I, as Taya, also don't. Because Rosalind just gets given stuff, right? Yeah. Like, Papa will just come downstairs and be like, oh, sweetheart, here's... And, you know, she'll just go and buy herself some cloth. And, like, that's her life. Mm. Nobody's ever spoken to her about how much money's worth because she doesn't need to know. I think, yeah. Until she marries and has to like run a household. I think She's... a pound is worth like 140 quid or I something. I vaguely like, remember you saying 120. Yeah, mm. about that. So a I did, I, I did get the maths wrong. So like one shilling is worth like a fiver. Well, we, we got. Because there's 20, we have shillings, 20 in a pound. shillings in a pound. Yeah. Yeah, so it's mm. 120 divided by 20. So it's like 100. Mm. Yeah, so like each shilling is worth five or six pounds. So, yeah, it makes sense to rip you off the flowers that way. Mm. I think I overdid it on the cakes. <laughs> yes. They're really yeah. cheap Speaking patisserie of... because they don't know how to spell. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of money, though, I don't know if you guys noticed mm. that I did not spend a single yeah, penny. Yeah, I did it. You were like, you were berating. I, you, I you were that. making sure we I noticed. I did that on purpose. That was so good. I think, like, um... The whole, I mean, a lot of Christianity is about being charitable mm. and, like, also one of the seven <laughs> deadly sins is greed. So by keeping my money, I am committing a seven deadly sin. <laughs> I like sin. that. See, mm -hmm. I so. thought you were then, like, you were trying to not be indulgent. Oh, oh. I thought you were That's keeping it very so. like. Oh, yeah. yeah. Things I we don't, don't have these lovely yeah. things, so I won't buy them because I don't need yeah. them. But it was interesting. No. Like I feel like Agatha had a really nice little like mini arc. It, like even just in this first episode, because at first I sort of was thinking that, and I was feeling like, not that you were judging, but like when we were just throwing away money on shit, you were very like, I'm not spending money. And then yeah, when we were in the dress shop, obviously like. 
And you were like, oh, I can't imagine wearing anything as extravagant as you. Again, as Rosalind, I was like, wow, <laughs> sin of vanity. And then it was actually really sweet when I sort of realised, like, oh, no, like, I'm going to lend her a dress and she's going to enjoy it. Like, that was kind of a nice moment. I like that. I thought, that. yeah, when that happened, because I was sat here as mom being like, mm. I want to wear a nice dress. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what, I'll, yeah, I'll that, do it. It was really sweet. When you said like oh, that, when you said that dress in my head, I was like, "What's that dress? Come on, I need to know what that dress is." <laughs> and then you made me explain it. Like, that was okay, really as, cute. As real, I was like, I, "What? The, what is this dress? Mm. I need to know what dress." Yeah, you know, I need to know. Yeah, like I yeah. Was, I, I don't know. didn't think that far. I didn't think that you were giving me a green dress. I thought you'd give me like an ivory dress. Yeah, in my head it was, but then I like that you made it green because I feel like. I just didn't think you'd ever own a green Th That dress. was my thought, but then as soon as you said that, I was like, oh, it makes sense. But though. you did say that you'd never, you haven't, hadn't worn it in years. Yeah. So maybe the colour yeah. was why. Yeah. And the thing for me that was just important about that moment was that Rosalind genuinely did like take care with that. Mm. Like that was a decision that, even though it was like kind of a quick moment, a lot of thought and consideration went into that. So yeah, if there was a green dress, 100%, that's the one that I would have mm. picked. Yeah. Yeah, cool. What? Well, how? So how tall are all of you? I'm, I'm five foot four. Okay, five four. I'm five two. Yeah, five two. I believe I'm five. Yeah, yeah. But okay, so I'm like five. I said five three because I didn't know how tall yeah. anyone but, was. But, but back then, then everyone is like so two inches shorter was the average in okay. the Regency period. So she's average height. So I'm average height. Maje is tall. Agatha is shorter. Mm. Cool. And I'm what would I be? You're in between us yeah. two. Okay, yeah. Cool. So you're like, yeah, you're taller than the average, average woman, but smaller than a tall woman. Brilliant. I'm happy to go. Happy to do that. Sounds right for Seth. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I feel so bad for Seth. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the things that made complete sense that he wasn't allowed to go, oh, you spent the whole day, instead of doing your duties, you spent the day frolicking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, kitchen duty. Yeah. Right. But I felt so bad because it was just like, you would just ended up with us. Like, <laughs> I was, I'm interested to watch it back and see, like, yeah. I just felt really bad about it was that. Just a situation. The thing is, it was like, yeah, he got punished for it, but like realistically, it's probably one of the best, like his best. But day like, you got, a long time. you got four free. Yeah, I got like treats. I've like I've probably just been eating like bread and just like bread. <laughs> just a bit of leftover bread. cheese, a bit of stew. Yeah, it's some well looked after stuff. Yeah, yeah but yeah. like stew, but like I wouldn't have got but like. You're not sweet getting treats. fancy cakes. Yeah, I wouldn't get fancy cakes or. Pastries. You're getting no, the yeah. staff's very nice dinner. Yeah, exactly. but you're well, not getting cakes. No, so in a house like that, you have. Um, obviously, you've got the family dines together. Yeah. The upper staff dine together separately from the lower staff. Right. Who will then eat again. And I think you will find that in the early 20th century TV show. Downton Abbey. I think you find that in Downton Abbey still as well. All no? the servants eat together, All the servants together. together. Downton. Downton. There is some TV I've shown, I've seen, that shows... Right. Yeah, so you've got your, your upper staff. So you've got your steward and housekeeper... Um, and the footman. Probably livery, footman. Yeah. People like that. They'll all eat the higher ups, and then you've got your basic staff, your maids, your sculleries. They'll all eat what together about the down maids? in the kitchen. Well, the ladies' maid would be with the upper staff. Right. Yeah. I so would I'd be in the, would I be in the lowest? Yeah. Staff? Yes. Yeah. Especially yeah. as a junior. Yeah, yeah. literally yeah. Be eating the, the in the kitchen. Boy. Yeah. Whereas the upper staff probably have their own room to eat in. Especially so because Penhallow Hall is like a big place. This is yeah, a chunky it's, it's a little It's a little run down. But it's it's big. It's well looked after, but it's showing its age. Um, it's been around for five hundred years. years, maybe. Uh, it's been added on a lot, so it's very jigsaw, higgledy piggledy. Lots of rooms. Mm. Cool. Yeah. Sweet. I'm glad I'm learning more while yeah. being <laughs> here doing it. So I'm making it up as I go along. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. No, I mean, everything is carefully planned yeah. out. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's so funny because I feel like there's a lot of things that are really well researched, like perfectly accurate and that we've put a lot of research and thought into. And then there's also like an equal amount of stuff that we're kind of making up. But I think that's like a really fun balance to have because like we know some of the parameters, but we can also just like have a lot of fun. Mm. And yeah, but it's just making me laugh that one of the things we didn't research at all was money. <laughs> yeah. But that is like not only a, like it's something we'll have to deal with a lot, but like that's a thing in D and D. How much money you have, how much gold. Yeah, like, I just feel like we knew uh, but, that our characters yeah. don't know money, and like we'll learn about Rosalind it later on anything. when we need to know about money. I know for a fact that Seth, when you're spending this money on stuff, Seth was like, "This is not my place to tell him. There's <laughs> way too much on it. I, I, I've not worked here long enough to tell him that they're being ripped off." And there's the two shirts. Well, her mom's got the clap. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
by, sorry, sorry, by go. cap, I assume we're talking about syphilis? Chlamydia? Chlamydia. 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 Okay. He's got syphilis. I have syphilis. What's up? You might do. You said clap, and I was like, did you mean cholera? And then I was like, no, you just. No, that was just a dumb joke that I did. <laughs> the clap is gonorrhea. Right. Mm -hmm. No, it's not. I thought the clap was. The clap's always been chlamydia. Yeah, because it's C. Not according to Google. We asked the real questions on this show. <laughs> <laughs> what is What's the clap? clap? Look, I googled the clap and the first thing that comes up is gonorrhea. Weird. Oh. Cool. You learn something yeah. new every day. Yeah. I always thought it was funny. I thought, wow, I'm really... To be honest though, I think it's good that we don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> true. I think it's showing that's what so we've been true. failed in school that we should well, know this. Yeah, that. actually, yeah. yeah. yeah well, maybe chlamydia and gonorrhea are the same thing. Speaking thing's. of sex education, <laughs> Talia and Edwin. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you learned a lot today. Well, I did, and I didn't. Yeah, I'm you had a lot of surprise. You've learned, you've learned that there's things to learn. I want to yeah. know what you saw. In but, the like, room. Talia doesn't know what fucking means. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I was but, like, you've already I mean, heard the word. She saw what they were doing, so can she not join yeah, the dots? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Join the dot. <laughs> and you uh you could spend as much time you you spent some you knew what they were doing. Like you spent some time watching. You took it, you took <laughs> yeah. it all in. Because you rolled a natural How 20. How long was she so, watching? As long as she wanted. <laughs> Cup. Well, I saw, at least, I saw, I saw, at least a minute. <laughs> yeah, at least a minute. I, she, I walked in, saw it, I was like, what's happening? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> And I was polite enough not to describe it in detail. Yeah, I, so, I would pay so much money to hear what that whisper was. Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. They were actually just playing chess. Sure. Mm. Okay, that makes and that's a lot what fucking is. Oh. Rosalind and Agatha are like, when two people love each other very much, they sit down to play a game of chess. Mm. <laughs> and agree to I mean, have That's literally what they do in the Tempest. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember when Rosalind, who's a really good, innocent virgin, just announced that she loved balls? <laughs> <laughs> and you said you weren't going to edit that. <laughs> Stay in, baby. That's not getting edited out, no. Oh. Uh, <laughs> she just loves balls. Just the way it is. Talia, yeah, Talia really didn't know what to do with that information. Mm. Huh. And then that wasn't the, the most shocking yeah. news of the night. The fact that that got eclipsed, because I literally forgot that that had happened until after we cut that game. I Because that was so enormous what happened, and I was so caught up in it. I, it was after I was like, oh yeah, my brother was like, sweet child, we were fucking like in the middle of a ball. <laughs> yeah. In the so, middle of a dog. How loud did Edwin exactly. say that? Exactly. Just loud enough. Loud enough that someone went. He didn't announce it. Because <laughs> the way you delivered that was very, we were fucking. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Edwin felt it in his heart. <laughs> I, the way I imagine it is that Edwin like went up to your ear and was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it was you probably know? in the dance when we, we came were close. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a, dear child, we come away. We come <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, nice spoilers, but. Edwin's gay, guys. Oh, oh did you know? That's, yeah. I wasn't planning on it coming out quite then. I wanted to toy with it and draw yeah, it out. Yeah, I, it but... might, because I knew that Edwin was yeah, gay. Me too. And I, I thought it was going to take a long I time. Really, I thought it was going to be this really subtle background thing that maybe people could pick up on if yeah. they were paying attention. Like, maybe queer people would pick up on it. Yeah. And then, no, episode one, we were fucking. <laughs> well, to be fair, I had seen them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. you got a good roll. You rolled a natural 20. You, you saw everything. <laughs> uh, so and then funny. you cornered him about it in a dance. <laughs> and he didn't Check really know what to do other than re resort to his own bravado. Apparently, I'm really good at just making people say what's happening. I think it's... <laughs> I was then like, okay, like with my dad. And he was just like, uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I have got it all planned. The thing I'm is, so Talia has minus one charisma. Mm -hmm. so she can't talk to people, but she can stare. And I feel like you're quite an unnerving person. Like, not an unnerving person, but like... Do you know what I mean? If someone was just there like this... <laughs> like, you know... <laughs> Yeah, so I suppose we should explain that, like, as the premise of the show, when I came to you guys, I'm like, here's the thing that's going to happen. You guys are Regency young girls in a patriarchal world, and you're going to sort of break the mould. Mm. Um, the way to do that is by 
removing your fathers from your lives. So you all ahead of the game knew that your dads well, were going to be yeah. gone for the entire game, probably. Um, hence why when I bought one of them back just for lulls, <laughs> it got a good reaction. You chose chaos. I did choose chaos. So I guess you want to talk about that. I am AJ. <laughs> <laughs> so, I literally nearly cried when I heard that my dad was you, like being ended, I and I don't know why. <laughs> because he was gone. But he and, was gone for and like you six love weeks. your dad. I do. My dad's the best character. He is. I was just really happy because Gilbert is my favourite NPC. <laughs> Gilbert. I was like, oh, Gilbert, my man. I that I have so many feelings. <laughs> I don't know any of them. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like you'd been joking about marrying all of us off, and I thought you were joking. Huh. <laughs> I just think it's so funny that arguing the thing. We're like, I'm not engaged. You're not engaged. I'm not engaged. Oh my you god. were. Oh my you god. didn't know. But we did. Oh my god, I was Wait, already what? engaged. Well, essentially, yeah, you know, you got when we were like, you know, who else isn't engaged? And then we were all like, haha, none of us are engaged. Oh, like, right. I mean, you were essentially um, so what engaged. Yeah. I like it how out of all three of us, it's Talia who's <laughs> yeah, getting it's married. Yeah, it's so funny. Well, the thing is, is I don't have any brothers. Like, yeah. I'm an only child. Yeah. Yeah. When my dad dies, I've got nothing. Like, mm. you guys have brothers who will look after yeah. you and who will inherit your estate. Yeah. Yeah. My estate goes to some, like, distant cousin. And I'm assuming that's Colin's dad. Yeah, and the thing is as well is that like your dad, <laughs> your dad probably knows that like if he left you alone, you would never pick a man to marry. Mm. Like Talia would just not do it unless it was like you know very sp specific. But like your dad is like that's unlikely, I think, because he does know you. Yeah. So I think he probably would be like. He does know that I've already rejected someone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, technically, you would your. Your house would go to your uncle John, John and Esther. Oh yeah, another John. Who's uh, the younger, <laughs> younger son? Uh, so younger brother of Gilbert. Uh, still, they're very rich. Yeah, it just means that I have somewhere because. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you can't guarantee that my uncles are nice. Mhm. Mm no, no, we can't. Yeah, we don't know anything about the uncles. I know nothing about my uncles. Mm -hmm. I don't spend a lot of time with you guys. I was gonna say, yeah, has Talia met her uncles? Yes, on, yeah. on the on the you know the normal occasions, yeah. weddings, deaths, and births, and that sort of stuff. But other than that, classic reunions. Mm. It is not a close family, mm. I would say, between the three brothers. Yeah. With Gilbert as the oldest. Yeah. yeah. I did like that the the person that you've got her. Oops. The person that you've got her to be engaged to. Your necklace is probably rubbing on the microphone, I just realised. Hopefully not the entire way through. Um, it's so similar to Gilbert. Yeah. Yeah, that was a Gilbert was like, yeah. I know how to find a nice man. A yeah. nice man is me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, person. Gilbert's like, I'm the only person that my child will talk to for long periods of time. <laughs> for a future husband, they must be like me, or Talia will not speak to them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That. I just love that Agatha still doesn't know. Yeah. How long will she? I guess we'll find out. Depends on the next episode and where we pick up. Yeah. And what are our thoughts on mm. that? Agatha is so, like, I love Agatha as a character because she's so sweet, but she's so judgy. And I just love it. Like, it's such a good, yeah. It's like you with the, the drinks. That was killing me. That was so good. <laughs> well, it's such a classic sort of, you're just copying your parents sort of thing. Like, when young mm. people are really judgy, it's because their parents have, like, told them to yeah. do this. Yeah. I also just really like imagining that Rosalind has been, just been dancing all day. You're like, oh, yeah. I wonder if like there's anything about my dad. And then there's nothing that's like, oh, I'll just keep dancing. And then your next interaction with me is like, I'm engaged. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> and you're yeah, like, that oh. was a big shock. Because, again, like, uh, maybe. Uh, I was about to say, like, not in a, a rude way, but kind of, like, I don't think Rosalind has ever thought of the possibility <laughs> of you getting married. No. You know? Like, I don't think that's ever entered her mind. Definitely. Especially not. Especially not at 17. In a rude way. Yeah. 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 Probably. No, but that's the, them's the fact. That's them's, them's the fact. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, that's, I don't think that's something that's ever crossed Rosalind's mind. 
Like, and not because she's actively like, that's not gonna happen, but it's just never occurred to her that it might. Mm. But yeah, that was a big shock. Yeah, I think, I think like when like that whole thing came across, I look up and I look across at you and your jaw is literally dropped mm. and you're yeah. like, <laughs> and I've got like goosebumps on my back and you're just like, uh. I'm, I'm just sat there <laughs> being like, oh, my back is <laughs> killing me. And all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, Talia's getting mad. I can't wait to watch that back and see the moment. Yeah, I kept glancing at you two because the yeah. reactions were like... But I couldn't. I, I was didn't. like, you're yeah, the only person yeah. I can look at yeah. right now. I didn't know what to do because I knew that as Agatha, I can't react. But yeah. also, I'm not going to just... See, that's the thing. I'm like, I, Mateo's reactions were like happening. Yeah. I could not stop them. And then the minute I was like, oh, okay, Rosalind's actually going to go up, then I was able to yeah. like rein it in a bit. Because, <laughs> yeah, Rosalind has a very different reaction to me. I just, I really am just kind of loving the fact that, like, Rio's like, wow, this you is just what I <laughs> Like, Rio, Rio was like, this is, he I'm so glad to be here, like, there's a lot going on, but Seth was realistically just kind of like, you know, I don't go to the ball, but I think this is probably the best day I've had in, like, a long time, <laughs> to be honest. I could get another pastry. I don't, maybe, I don't think she'd be up too upset if I snuck into her room and took a pastry. Would she? She bought a lot, wouldn't, didn't she? Um... Mm. Did yeah. you steal the pastry? I no. I guess we'll find out next. I guess we'll find out. You'll count your pastries. <laughs> no, because you go come back home early, maybe you just find them sprawled maybe out you on your bed. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Bow, bow. <laughs> so to our one fan that's probably watching. Hi, mum. Hi, mum. Hi, Tay's mum. <laughs> uh, what would you say you're most excited about for the show? For, for me, like, the character growth, like, mm -hmm. character arcs. Because it's, yeah. like, I am really excited for the... Because I know you've done a lot of cool world building and cool... You have cool plot stuff lined up for us. But this is a show where actors are doing D&D. &D, and I'm like, I know we've all put a lot of care into these characters. And, like, for me especially, the place Rosalind is in now, and I think where this journey is going to make her have to go and confront things, like, is going to be really different. And I don't know how that's going to be for me as Taya. And I'm just intrigued to like let that play out. Yeah, I would say this is going to be a very dice light game. Mm. Like, Especially at first, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, combat is combat. You have to roll. But in terms of role playing, like anyone that's expecting a lot of dice rolls will probably be disappointed. Mm. And it's more just going to be about just going with the flow. There yeah. might be more like for like. I think there'll be a lot more deception than. Slight of hand stuff. Slight of hand stuff, and yeah, I I feel like the stuff. further along we get, the more the more yeah. roles there will be. Yeah, um, but I mean, I'm most looking forward to similarly like mm. the character growth. I'm really looking forward to seeing what what is going to happen to yeah. all our characters. Yeah. Um, what drama is going to happen? Mm. Is anyone going to die? We don't, we don't know. Right. I want if to see if all of us stay alive. Yeah. yeah. And I'm also just... Seth like, dies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not feeling confident. <laughs> Seth has no stats. <laughs> I'm like, let's practice. I'm like, let's practice and fighting. I get one hit in Break, dead. Breaks my neck in a punch. <laughs> yeah, you could kill him in one punch. I could kill him in one yeah, punch. Yeah. Um, you could kill you, Agatha in like three. Yeah. <laughs> you ate one pastry too much. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah like, the nice. <laughs> Constitution The failed. next episode is you just trying to hide the body. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for us all, like, our group dynamic to change. Because at the minute, like, we're three young ladies who mm -hmm. don't dislike each other or maybe we... I don't know, but we're not friends. Like, we're not close. I think I... I think you and me sort of are trying to be mm. nicer to each other. Yeah. Like, me and this one have a whole past that's not nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> you, and you also... And you, because you're all about so, like... I'm, I'm so anti-Christian. <laughs> I'm a ginger, left-handed, annoying person. It's 1820 and you're God-fearing. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm not... You think I'm the man. devil. I do. Mm. And that's not just Agatha talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> I I I know I'm just looking forward to playing. Same. Yeah. I just want to know what happens because mm. there's so much. Like I know that you know stuff, and I know that you know stuff, and I know that you know stuff, and like I just want to know the yeah. stuff. The fact you know stuff, like I, I might not know stuff. We could just be I lying to you. I feel like I know I very know little. <laughs> like. You, I didn't even know who Percy Blythe was. I didn't know Percy who that was. was yeah. I mean, he got a name, like, 
Lyndon gave me the sheet with the list of like oh, villagers' right. names on it this morning, and I was like, oh, his name's Percy, but I knew that was a rival mill to my dad's. But, yeah. but she would like know I all of them that. because it's in her town. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I feel like... It makes sense. It makes sense. But also, I guess, because you joined the project, like, later. Yeah. Whereas, so for a while, it was really nice because when Lyndon was coming up with stuff, he could sort of bounce ideas off me and I could input. And at a certain point, that stopped because he was like, well, now it's spoilers if mm. I tell you things. And so I'm now just like, I'm so frustrated because I, yeah, I just want to know. got a tease. Yeah? Yeah. I suppose people were like, oh, are you going to do this live and stuff? Uh, and we're not, obviously. If, it's, it's the if short we list. get enough people... Who's people? Well, <laughs> who's asking? Our us? two fans. <laughs> oh, it's gone up by one. Yeah. Who's Hot. our second one? Who knows? Oh, um, fair enough. But like, Jess. <laughs> if their name is Jess, it's going to really freak them out. Yeah. yeah. I hate what you're called Jess. We have to learn the tech, really. Mm. Like, Twitch is complicated to an old man like me. Mm. I feel like if we get enough requests for it and we can figure we out can, how to do it, yeah. then we can do if it. If we can find out how to make stuff happen and people want stuff to happen, we will make stuff so happen. So live one shots could be cool. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See what happens. I just want to yeah. keep going. Yeah, I'm like, that game's done. Um, More let's now. start a new one. Yeah. <laughs> let's continue. I want to I wanna find out about Colin Jefferson. Yeah. Also, every time oh God, you I'm say having... Jefferson, my brain goes to Hamilton. Yeah, me too. Mm. Um, I've just realised that I'm having breakfast with my dad tomorrow morning, and he's almost definitely going to be bringing mm -hmm. Colin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, are and me people? and you are going to be sat at, like, be at with, with, with my mum and dad. No, yeah. my dad's away. I'm going my, to an my inn. Family. Like, I'm not having breakfast with you guys. Yeah, like, oh, we'll, yeah. Be at, we'll be at my house at Penhallow Hall, just, like, wondering what's going on yeah but you know about I mean, the you don't engagement. have to you can sneak off yeah. and try and eavesdrop does Rosalind look like the sort of girl who sneaks off <laughs> <gasps> but you're aware of the engagement yeah not, so do you like yeah. not yet not yet. not yet I mean I don't know what's going to happen like your dad might well do like a formal announcement in the Jesus town Christ. that was a thing I'm pretty sure hear ye hear ye Hey, 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 hey. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mm. How's Talia feeling after the like? I'm so intrigued. Talia, Talia's had a day. Talia's had a day. Talia doesn't know how she's feeling. She is overwhelmed and very drunk. <laughs> Shit, yeah, she's really drunk. Well, she's not really drunk. She's drunk though. Mm, well, she's six passes in. <laughs> the way that you keep managing to sneak off by yourself, walk by yourself at night drunk, is so absurd. Like in <laughs> this Regency era, but I love it. I love that you get to do that. It's a very safe country of side village. I know. Last time when I was drunk, I got I was in the carriage. Yeah, I know. But in so we're talking about session zero. So session oh, yeah. zero. You weren't drunk, but you did sneak off from a party by yourself at night and go to a man's house and talk I to know. him by yourself. And I was, while you were doing that, I was just out there like, wow, this is a really emotional bit of role play and I'm going to cry. But also, this is so inappropriate. <laughs> as, as, I was literally like, Rosalind doesn't know what's happening, but as Rosalind, my brain was like, you can't be unchaperoned at a man's doorway <laughs> at night. I can keep managing to sneak away. <laughs> And, like, this time I said bye to my dad. Like, my dad saw me yeah. walk away. The way Gilbert, as a dad, just lets you get away with anything. Well, we don't know that he hasn't followed me. Oh. It's true. Who knows? Oh, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you know. You know everything. Yes. Tell us your ways. Yes, I don't definitely just make stuff up and be like, oh, yes, that's exactly what I meant. Hmm. I feel like you didn't plan this. I feel like you were just like, this is something I could do right now. It was, no, it was, it was sort of planned. 50-50. It was planned, but like, in but it was like, a, it was a late stage. I only came up with it like a week ago. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm going to. But at the same time, it I also was just throwing some yeah. Because I've been spent so long being like, oh, the first couple of episodes are going to be like this, like this, like this, like this. I'm like, well, what's the point in playing if I've told you mm. what our yeah. railroaded early stage game setting scenes are going to be like? Boring. So I did feel like do. it got more interesting to... I feel like it would have been more interesting to watch the second half of that. Yeah. So. Yeah, I agree. 
But I also, like I said earlier, I think we all definitely like warmed up into it more. Like yeah. by the time we were in the second half, I was like very natural, natural, and I felt like everyone was, and the connections were. Seth was real by the second half. Yeah, uh, same. Seth for, was same, still being made first half. Yeah. Because for me, I was just like performing Rosalind a little bit, which is fine because Rosalind is always sort of performing herself. But then, yeah, by the end, it became very easy and like, so, yeah. Yeah, I've been um, uh, realizing that a lot of the time I'm keeping quiet, and mm. that's because not only as Agatha do I not know what to say as Morn, I have mm. no clue what to say. Like, I want to keep the story like. Like, I don't want to, like, throwing any curveballs, you know? And yeah. then yeah. be like, oh, sh- yeah. <laughs> what's that about? We love curveballs. Throw more mm. curveballs. I'll yeah. do my best. But also, I feel like it's in- like it's making Agatha really interesting, like, even if it's not intentional. Because to me now, like, Agatha is coming off as somebody who just sort of observes a lot yeah. and, like, mm. is aware of everything. And it keeps... It kept happening, I feel like, a few times in that you rolled really high on, like... The the investigation. Investigation. Yeah. Or Don't like you have like intuition. plus six in investigation? I do. Yeah. yeah. And it's really God interesting helps. to me is like Agatha is this like yeah. quiet girl who but she like sees everything. Yeah. Also, yeah, throw more because when I went up to um, you earlier that that introduced um, what's his face? Edwin. Re- no, Reginald. When I came to you with oh, the bag yeah. of things a thing that brought Reginald along. I and yeah. no one like Reginald you know, the steward. Yeah, yeah like, that. My, my big scary boss um, man. He's kinda of scared. he doesn't like me. Yeah, no, I don't think he likes me. I mean, no, I think he does. Like, he he thinks I have potential from what yeah. I've got, but he's just like, oh, he's a he's a dumbass. What did you say? <laughs> didn't you say I was, like, tricking him or something? Yeah. Uh, that... Leading him astray, yeah. yeah astray from the, what? The astray from doing Talia's just duties. a bad influence on everyone. Mm. Yeah. I was just trying to give the nice boy some pastries. I was returning the, nice the other boy. pastries, yeah. <laughs> The nice boy. I also do really like, because I just don't think it would ever happen that you came and knocked on my door and you were like, you know my name, thanks. Yeah. That was yeah. so sweet. Because uh, you're the only one who referred to me by name in like the first half. I love yeah. that. I did uh, drop a Seth in the second half. Yeah, part. yeah, you did mm. drop a little Seth there and I was like, I respect it. I, I love that. That was really sweet. Yeah. I, yeah, like I felt like both of you two are like, I really like the way that you guys like just do really random stuff mm. whereas I feel like both me and you are more like at the minute I kind of relate like even though I'm talking more it's just because Rosalind always has more words to say I know but I whereas like I, I'm always trying to really think about what to do and also you know everyone in the town yeah. these are people you have spoken to multiple times yeah. before so yeah. you will be more comfortable with them yeah but in terms of like curveball stuff I'm still I think and a part of it is character because Rosalind is the way she is but yeah I think I I'm admiring the way you guys are like doing really random shit. <laughs> <laughs> I like that that was also behind yeah, the team. Yeah, but I know what you know, 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 know. Talks behind the team. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were sniffing when we fist bumped. I was confused. Sweet child. We were Sweet child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we're going to do it. We're going to release bi-weekly. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And the whole... Are we talking twice a week or once every two weeks? Once every two weeks. Brilliant. Yeah, I... Bi-weekly yeah. means the, both of them. Yeah. Cool. That's confusing. It is so confusing. Yeah. So just bi-annually. What, every what? two years or twice every a year? Every two years or twice a year. That's, That's so confusing. Weird. Weird. I should really make them two different words. That's fine, I guess. Bye for the table of buys. <laughs> wow. Whoa. <laughs> um, yeah. Bi-weekly, as in every two weeks, uh, alter- alternating with this little half hour, 45 minute talk show on the other weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, and That's we- finally made sense in my Same. brain. <laughs> and then, yeah, we just play. We know where we want to take the story. If you see, we get to the end before anybody dies or everybody dies, whatever. Mm. And have a lot of fun. You're not going to go out of your way to kill us, are I've you? made him promise not to. No. That's not good DMing. Yeah. Are you going to go out of your way to kill me? Because I'm worried about Seth. For listeners, Seth is an NPC with four <laughs> health points. <laughs> I'm very worried. <laughs> Rio is is a guest table member, does not have a real character, um, and can fall off his horse and die. 
Oh, no. Actually, you were in danger. I was, in, I was there. I'm having a great time, but I was in that one was the most stone, danger. One stone, and you'd be gone. Considering the amount of times I'd fallen over, and that you was the most even dangerous. Ride. I was just like, we'll tie you to the back of mine, and you'll be fine. And I was like, this is the best time of my life. Yeah. Cool. It worked. Yeah. It was fine. It worked. It was fine. Yeah. I think that's it, right? How long have we been going? About half an hour. Mm. Is there anything else anyone wants to cover Ooh. before we stop? Uh, I'm still kind of in shock. <laughs> Yeah, I still kind of don't know how to respond. Mm. I've got to just go, like, go and live the rest of my life now until, yeah, like, the next... Yeah. Like, like I don't care for Rio and what Rio has to do. I'm kind of intrigued on, like, I know Seth is a very small person, but, like... Yeah. Literally, 5'3", I heard. Huh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, no, but, but it's... I I'm, understand. I'm very invested in Seth. Yeah, yeah, like, I've just got to go home and, like, be normal now. Well, what yeah. do I do with myself now? And I'm like, what, what about Talia? Yeah. yeah. Talia's whole gonna... life has just been changed. Yeah. Everything's falling apart. And in my head, I'm so like, like I can't stop imagining the rest of the, like how the rest of the night goes for Rosalind and like what she's doing. Like, I, and I just have to what, go and make myself dinner now. Right? That's a good point. I have to walk 15 minutes up the road. Yeah. Like sweating. Sweating. <laughs> and just shower this morning. I'm going to have to shower again. Mm. It's hot under these lights. Yeah, these chairs, like, it's hot in those the dresses. Oh, yeah, the God. dresses are warm. Yeah. What the viewers can't see is our yeah. dresses <laughs> hitched up they around our thighs. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, moving on to people wearing uh, very little clothes while they're on here because they're only from the top half upwards. What? <laughs> no, we're fully covered. No, it was me. Shall I go and whisper? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> funny, stood up and I saw you. I so hope it's on camera the moment the light drained from your eyes when you realised you were going to have to walk into shot in your cargo shorts. Yeah. Well, at least I was thinking about just wearing my boxes, so... so I would have so done that. You should have done that. It's warm in here and we can't have windows open. Yeah, I wish we could have a fan that was... Mm. Like, I wish we had a silent fan. Yeah. Silent fan, where are you? <gasps> Respect, fan number three. Mm. Well, oh my god, we got three! <laughs> I got Hi, it. Simon! <laughs> Look, like I'm just saying, I'm throwing names out. <laughs> On that note, say goodbye to our one fan. Say goodbye. Bye, Mum! 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 B